Hello, Leo. This is all right. I'm here to do a little sneak peek. What could happen in August? You know, things can change. But we're going to get a little sneak peek. What could possibly happen in the month of August? It's not going to be for everyone, so please do not get mad if it's not your story. It's going to be for the sun, the moon, rising, and Venus. And Jupiter. Spirit of the earth, water, fire, and air. What important message is for Leo for the month of August? Who's coming toward them in love? What love message is? So who's coming toward them in love in the month of August 2020? Is it new love, old love? Who's coming toward them? Mm. I see someone is juggling. They got one foot in and one foot out. Some of you guys are dealing with a Capricorn. They got one foot in, one foot out. This this person don't know how you feel about them. They want to apologize to you. Tell me more about this. Tell me more about this page of cup. Tell me more. This person is waiting on you. This is someone that can build, they want to build an empire with you. They see they can build or have something with you. This is someone that wants to talk to you. This is someone that wants to sweep you off your feet. Some of you guys are dealing with a Capricorn on, and a, or an Aquarius. This person see you as their soulmate. They see unity with you. They see this partnership with you. This is someone that you had to end in with. But there were some things that was hidden. Tell me more about the high priestess. Tell me more about this high priestess. Tell me more, spirit. Tell me more. Tell me more. Tell me more. This person wants things to change. Tell me more about the wheel of fortune. Tell me more. This person, before they didn't know who they're going to choose. Tell me more about this two of swords. Tell me more. Tell me more. This person wants an equal give and take, but they're trying to be patient about this. They see you as someone that's strong. They see you as someone could be a good mother. There's no gender in terror. They see you as someone that they cannot control. Tell me more about this. Tell me more. Tell me more. And this kept this person up at nighttime thinking about you because they know you're their soulmate. They know they can build an empire with you. Tell me more about this. Tell me more. Mm -hmm. This is someone that you could have been with for a long period of time. This is someone you, it's a, a strong foundation. This is someone that can see that set with you for a long period of time. Could be a Virgo. This person could be committed to someone else. Or this person could be married. Or this is someone you're committed to. Oh, this will be a Taurus. Tell me one. Tell me one. This person want a new start with you. This is someone that ghosts you. The votes can't be reversed. Hmm. That's why they was holding back. Because they ghost you. Tell me more. Oh, they were holding back because of a Virgo. Tell me more. Tell me more about this. Tell me more about this. Um, Eight of Swords. Tell me more. Tell me more, Spirit. Tell me more. Tell me more, Spirit. They're trying to pour all their emotions out to you. And they're trying to manifest you back into their life. But they're feeling the repercussions of their actions. They feel heartbroken. They had uh, took a break from you. And they walked away. Tell me more. Tell me more. But just tell me more. Tell me more. Tell me more. Tell me more. This is someone that cut you out of their life. And you could have cut this person out of their life. Out of your life, but this person watching you. This person is very curious about this, uh, about you. So they all on your social media page, looking and trying to investigate, going by your house and your job. But this person see you as their, as an empress, someone very abundant. They see you as all the queens, all the characters of three queens rolling to one. And you could be pregnant. This person watching you. But there was things that were hidden. Could it be a pregnancy is hidden? Tell me more about this moon card. Tell me more about the moon. Tell me more. Tell me more. The person had received a very important message. 
This is someone they was thinking about. This is someone they seen was a twin flame. Tell me more about this. Tell me more, Spirit. They feel left out in the cold right now. This is someone they had moved forward with. Tell me more about this. Tell me. Tell me more. Tell me more. The person see you as a missed opportunity. They're very passionate about you. Tell me more. Tell me more, Spirit. Tell me more. Tell me more, Spirit. There was some deception going on. And the person was holding on to you. They wanted to sweep you off your feet. But they was in and out your life. So they're making a decision to work on things with you. You see this person as a player. Now they want to charge in. Now they're trying to make a decision about you. They see you trying to get away from them. So they're trying to rush in. There could be a Capricorn trying to rush in. But another Capricorn or someone that's very obsessed with you. Tell me more, tell me more. Oh, this is someone that's very toxic. This person can live at a distance from you. This person could be very spiritual. They're trying to ask the angels for help making this decision. Or the angels are pushing him to make a decision. That person want to move to come awards with you. This is going to be a Cancer or a Leo. Another Leo. This person is very abundant. This person has met that financial gold in life. <laughs> this person is well off. Tell me more. Tell me more. This person is a family man. Tell me more about this. Tell me more. Yep. They're trying to make a decision about you. Tell me more. Some of you guys are dealing with a justice system. This is someone that you had to end it with. This person doesn't want to take a uh, new leap to faith with you. They want victory. They want this, this trophy. <laughs> they see you as a trophy. They want this. This is someone to live at a distance from you, or this is someone you had completed a cycle with. This person could be married, or you could be married to this person. Tell me more about this four ones. Tell me more. Tell me. This person trying to control their emotions. They want to offer you this commitment. They want a reunion with you. They want to celebrate. This is someone that you had already planted your seed with. This is someone from your past. I do see kids here. Or oh, your past life. Or someone from your past and childhood. Yeah, they're feeling remorseful. Overall energy. Overall energy. Spirit overall energy. Someone is feeling defeated. About a queen of pentacles. Queen of, mm, could be a queen of pentacles feeling defeated about you. Could be, uh, what is that? A Capricorn? <laughs> I'm feeling defeated about this ending. They feel like they're um, being betrayed. They want to pour all their emotions out to you. This is your ex feeling sad. They're feeling burdened by this. They're very passionate about you. Tell me more, Spirit. Tell me more. This person could be in a third party. Or you could be in a third party. That would lead to a lot of arguments and fights and drama. This person want to tell you the truth. About this uh, nine of pentacles. Someone who's well off. Someone who met their financial gold in life. Could be a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, or Libra. This person want to tell you the truth about a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, or Libra. Or somebody's in this energy. So your person definitely coming back. They want to tell you about everything. Could be Cancer, Pisces, Scorpios, and Libra, Gemini, and Aquarius, Aries, Leo, Sag, Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus. If you like my reading, give me a thumbs up and thank you guys for following my channel. Until next time.